Welcome to Tuesday's Tips from So Very Easy. My name is Laura and Linda made a comment on another way that she has found to use the incredible tape by Marathon. And let me show you, it's a good tip. First of all, let me explain a little bit about this tape. It's not a tape. There's no sticky on it at all. However, it will stick to itself and it will stick to a smooth surface such as a plastic or a glass, which gives it a lot of different uses. So Linda had recommended to mark the back of your ruler with the incredible tape at the cutting line that you are going to need. Now I need to cut this piece into three inch strips. So I'm going to lie the incredible tape on the back of the ruler right on that three inch mark and the extra is going to hang over onto the four inch mark because I'm going to be cutting three inch strips. So I put the tape right on the three inch mark and I trim it down and I was very precise on how I was to place it. Now what's happened, the back of the ruler has a lip on it, a very slight lip. So when I take the ruler and slide it towards the fabric, it automatically stops right at that line that the incredible tape is at. So now I can cut the fabric very easily without having to always check my marks. Now, if you have a problem because you can't really see the tape, there was another solution. Because the tape is repositionable, I was able to take the tape off, I placed it on a piece of paper which does not stick, and I marked an edge with black marker. Just mark the edge with the black permanent marker and let that marker dry. And even after that marker has been dried, I'm going to take a piece of old fabric and rub to make sure that there's no marker that's going to come off on my ruler or my fabric. Then I'm going to be able to put this back onto the ruler and I'll be able to see the line. I'll smooth it on. And now from this side, I can see the black line. And I'm not worried about what's past the three inch mark because that is not important. I want that three inch cut. Slide it right over and it's going to stop exactly at the three inch mark. Now what's really great about this tape? It's repositionable. So if my next cut is going to be at three and a half, I can take the tape off and move it to the three and a half inch mark. You could do one of these for each of your rulers. Thank you, Linda, for the great tip. And if you have a tip that you think that I would like, please leave a comment in the comments. Thank you for joining me today on Tuesday's Tips. Feel free to subscribe and as always, come on back. Let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.